This integrated audio video control professional course will focus on digital video matrix switchers. Matrix switchers are used anytime you have many video sources that need to be selectable by many displays at any time and in any combination. They enable you to send a single wire to each display reducing the amount of furniture and space and wiring you, uh, beneath each of those displays and it certainly reduces source costs by distributing video to multiple displays allowing you to minimize how many video sources are purchased and or rented in the case of cable boxes. Based on those uses Matrix switchers are often used in corporate installations, house of worship installations, sports bar and restaurant, and whole home video distribution. When designing systems with HDMI digital video matrices, can, d common design considerations are, do I need HD base T extenders going into the video matrix or out of? The video matrix. Will I be utilizing a video matrix with built-in HD base T transmit? Should I use it with a distribution amplifier on the output side in order to mirror displays but reduce costs? Do I need a product with output audio D embedding to be fed into distributed audio systems and how do I wish to control this digital video matrix? Because oftentimes these are installed out of sight and out of mind. We'll begin by looking at the KD 4x4 CSA and KD 8x8 CSA, 4x4 and 8x8 digital video matrixes with HDMI input and output connectors. These products have output audio D embed so the selected video source for each output is output on the analog and digital audio connectors as well as the HDMI output connector. These products support 4K resolutions at up to 10.2 gigabits per second. That gives you 4K at up to 30 frames per second 444 color subsampling or 60 frames per second UHD 4K signals at up to 420 chroma subsampling. They support HDCP 2.2 and offer all of the full buffer technology for EDID, HDCP, hot plug detection, and TMDS reclocking benefits to make a reliable digital video switching system. Because they have TCP IP control, they can integrate with any control system, professional control system, and they could also be uh, detected by the key digital app therefore they are app ready. Let's l take a look at one of the commonly utilized integration tool that is output audio de-embedding. The PCM digital audio connection supports is a uh, coaxial RCA supporting two channel 5.1 or even 6.1 audio formats but not, high, uh, not HD audio formats like 7.1 the balanced unbalance is a six pin Phoenix connector supporting uh, left and right audio. The connector is left plus, left minus, right plus, right minus, and with a ground. Or you could just use the positive channels, right plus, uh, left, left plus and ground, or, and right plus and ground. There are no audio uh, conversions on there, which we'll touch base in a moment. But first I'd like to uh, explain and clarify how the output audio uh, feature, the embed feature works because it is one of the more common confusion points when working with this product. It's really a great integration tool but you have to know how to use it. It, uh, it is an output audio de embed. So in this example output 3 is selecting input 1, the Apple TV. So of course output 3 HDMI is watching the Apple TV and the analog and digital audio outputs now have are listening to the Apple TV audio signal. 
So it is an output audio de-embed, not an input audio de-embed. The feature, as mentioned, uh, does not have any DSP or up and down conversion. So once again, if you'd like to have two channel audio as your analog audio output, you need to ensure that through the EDID control, you're telling the source that it needs to provide a maximum of two channel PCM audio on the HDMI input connection. And we take a look at the key digital app GUI for these four and eight output switchers. You have friendly naming, which again is stored in the matrix itself so that the app can parse the matrix for that information and print out that value on each text element. And you could even create presets in the app so that you could go in and call a preset or two. Very handy for house of worship and sports bar applications. This is the KD Pro 8x8D all-in-one HDMI, HD Base-T audio and control solution. This product has a simultaneously active HDMI and HD Base-T. It supports audio return channel. It has its own audio de-embed, output audio de-embed feature, which actually does have DSP features. There is a Compass Control Master Controller, 35 ports in fact, that is built into this product. It includes all eight receive HD base T receive extenders, six of which extend 70 meters 4K, and two of which extend 4K signals up to 100 meters. It supports 10.2 gigabits per second bandwidth, so 4K 30, 444, 4K 60, 420 and is a full HDCP 2.2 compliant system and also offers front USB configuration so it can be installed in the rack and accessed through the front of rack which is something that many integrators are very happy about. Let's take a look at the integration tools of KD Pro 8x8D. As mentioned each of the eight outputs has a simultaneously active HDMI and HD base T ports. They are mirrored, so they will show the same thing at the same time if you're utilizing both of those connectors per output. It gives you a total of 16 live outputs, which is perfect for any presentation application. Imagine your conference room with a projector uh, and the screen at the front of the room, but having a monitor on the side of the room for the folks sitting in the back. Uh, surround systems to a projector once again, or large flat panel display. Uh, on HD base T and using the HDMI to feed directly into an AV receiver. Master bedroom, master bath where you want to use two displays but instead of chewing up two outputs you're able to do so or also as opposed to adding a distribution amplifier. It's essentially a one by two distribution amplifier built in on each output. As mentioned there are two types of HD base T receive units included. There's a total of eight included in the KD Pro 8x8D kit. Two are long range, extending 4K up to 100 meters, 1080p up to 500 feet, 152 meters, and six are short range or standard range, depending on how you look at it. 4K at 125 feet, 38 meters, 1080p at 200 feet, 61 meters. Each of the eight outputs has its own output audio de-embed that again follows the selected video source per output. You have uh, the digital audio supporting two channel 5.1 and 6.1 formats, but not HD formats. And you have the analog audio connector supporting two channel, either balanced or unbalanced. Again, as mentioned, uh, very important to ensure that you uh, are utilizing the tool correctly when designing your applications. It is an output audio de-embed. So in this example, output seven is viewing an Apple TV. So HDMI video and audio, HD base T video and audio, giving you the video audio signal from that Apple TV, but also the uh, audio de-embed ports listening to the Apple TV. And the KD Pro 8x8D has audio DSP features per output, 
volume is uh, is discreetly controlled or we have an incremental up or down control muting control delay can be added to each output up to 150 milliseconds so it's perfect for integrating with distributed audio systems bass mid and treb three band eq and left right balance as well now there is no format conversion of two channel to five one or five one to two channel so no up or down format conversions another brilliant and very uh, sought after highly sought after tool that the pro 8x8 d provides is the support for arc audio return channel now arc is supported on all eight outputs however it is different per output so outputs one and five also known as the long range outputs those receive balance x88 lgrx those are the arc supported hd base t receivers so in the green bottom left here the green arrow we're depicting uh, ARC example coming from an ARC supported display we're over HD base T to output one of the matrix that audio uh, two channel or multi channel is then output on that digital audio connector to be connected into a surround receiver at the bottom center with the purple arrow another long range output we show ARC from a non ARC supported display so your uh, display could have a Toslink digital audio output and that can be fed into uh, the, uh, the matrix and then de-embedded either on analog or digital to be integrated to an amplifier. Now the other six outputs, two, three, four, six, seven, and eight, all also support ARC but not on the HD base T, only via HDMI. And so we show in the bottom right with the red arrow, a monitor connected via HDMI, not HD base T, where we are, uh, where we have the audio return channel being de-embedded on the analog connector to integrate with this multi-room audio amplifier or system. In order to activate that, there are settings in the matrix plus settings on the control rotaries of the X88 LG RX that you'd want to refer to the operation manual for. An additional integration tool is the 35 port built in compass control master controller. Nine ports uh, that we see here are uh, the control IOs, IR, bi directional RS232, or voltage triggering plus two three pin relays, normally open, normally close and ground positions in those, Phoenix, in those uh, three pin Phoenix connectors. So that's 11. Then you have your eight HD base T receives with fully bi uh, bi-directional IR or RS-232 ports. So 11 plus eight gets us to 19. And if you purchase the KD IQ Jump 12 FM cables, those female to male HDMI jumper cables with 3.5 millimeter uh, control breakout, you could capitalize on the uh, patented ability for Key Digital to insert IR, bi directional RS232, or voltage triggers onto the eight HDMI inputs and the eight HDMI outputs. So that's another 16 ports in addition to the previous 19 gets us to that number 35. You take a look at the pre-built GUI for the Key Digital app for KD Pro 8x8D. You've got eight input buttons, eight output buttons. Those input and output names can be applied to the matrix itself so that the Key Digital app can parse the unit and give you a printout of those friendly names. You've got preset controls and you have volume controls with a discrete volume slider, plus, minus, and mute controls for whatever is your selected output. Now let's cover some of the troubleshooting tools that are built in to the 4x4, 8x8 CSAs and the Pro 8x8D units in addition to all key digital matrix switchers. 
One of the most important things is the eated handshaking control. This is a huge, huge benefit in working with key digital matrix switchers. Each HDMI input can have its own eated file selected. So it's going, it's per input as you see here. So input one and two are receiving eated file 13, 1280 by 720p DVI. Input three is receiving eated file four, which is 1080p two channel audio. And input seven is receiving a 4K two channel audio handshake. Now it's very important to understand though that eated control to each source is not uh, the same as scaling per output. And this is another common misconception about video matrix switchers. So let's focus in on input number four here from our system where input number four has been uh, is receiving a handshake number seven that's 4k video with two channel audio and so that source says hey I've received the green light for 4k with two channel so let me output a video signal to 4k and with audio two channel and any display viewing that source selecting that source is going to get 4k with two channel audio so output one here is a 4K supported display, no problem. However, output four is a 1080p supported display, which will not be able to, uh, to show that 4K signal. So again, very important to realize how this works. Now, if you need a system where a 4K digital video signal is going to 4K monitors at 4K resolution, but then being downscaled to 1080p for 1080p monitors, Key Digital does have a system that does that. It is our Enterprise AV 4K system, which you can learn about in this integrated audio video control professional uh, training modules. So how do you select the desired handshake? Well, with the 4x4, 8x8 CSA, it's uh, over the remote control or RS-232 or TCP IP, but if you just need to uh, set it quickly and forget it, grab that remote control. You got, it's uh, just gonna be, uh, you have the ability with the top sequence here, R2, R1, R3, A, your input number, one through eight we see here in the middle, XX, the desired handshake from this uh, EDID table. Or you have the ability to do the R2, R1, R3, A, your input that you'll write the EDID file to, you'll give the handshake to, and B, to copy the handshake from a display to, to be relayed to input specified in the A button press. Same goes for the Pro 8x8D. The remote control can set up your EDID very quickly. Uh, we have a few different options for, uh, for setting that EDID handshake to the sources. Here's the table, it's in the owner's manual. And you could even look it up uh, with the Pro 8x8D or the 8x8CSA. You could even do it over ASCII strings or through our Key Digital Wizard software via IR, excuse me, via uh, TCP IP, RS-232, or USB. And we're gonna cover all those options in the Integrated Audio Video Control Level 2 videos. And we thank you for viewing this IAVC Professional Level 1 video.